Welcome to another episode of Oroville Unveiled, brought to you by Oroville Hospital. Today, we're standing on top of North Table Mountain, located six miles north of Oroville. These beloved, iconic tabletop mountains serve as an exquisite backdrop to our beautiful city and offer amazing adventure opportunities. The trailhead and official address for this remarkable place is 2488 Cherokee Road in Oroville, California. This land is owned by the State of California Department of Fish and Wildlife and it's open year round from dawn to dusk. Today we are unveiling and hiking to the epic Phantom Falls. This is not possible without traveling through the Northern Table Mountain Ecologic Reserve. The bonus is that it's April and the wildflowers are in full bloom. The terrain out here is dirt and quite uneven, so we recommend wearing closed toed shoes or boots. You must have a Fish and Wildlife Lands Pass prior to entering this preserve. Passes can be purchased by calling 1-800-565-1458 or online at wildlife.ca.gov. Don't forget a hat, sunglasses, sunscreen, water, and a snack. If you make the complete trail loop, expect to hike around six miles, and it can be moderately physically demanding at times. The good news is parking is included. However, the weekends can be busy, so parking on the side of the road is also permitted. If you're not interested in the entire hike, this is a great place to have a picnic with the family and a fantastic place to fly a kite. You can also find some excellent bird watching opportunities, photo opportunities, wildflower identification opportunities, and great locations to simply meditate. Dogs are also welcome if they're on a leash. Today, I'm gonna to be hiking with one of my friends. Together, we'll share our experiences with this wonderful ecologic reserve, so let's get started. Some of the birds you may see out here include golden eagle, turkey vulture, peregrine falcon, to small canyon wren and meadow larks. Of course, there are plenty of black-tailed deer and other four-legged creatures around as well. In order to thoroughly enjoy this hike and the Table Mountain experience, we must define two major terms. Basalt, which means lava, and these tabletop mountains were formed by lava thousands of years ago. Two, vernal pool, which means a seasonal wetland that supports sensitive plants and animals. There are only three other California locations with vernal pools like this, which makes this a rare hike indeed. During the winter, water collects and runs in the basalt crevices, creating pools and beautiful waterfalls. Some basalt pools are impermeable to water and remain well into summer and even fall. These pools provide life support to indigenous plants and animals. So, in essence, this reserve supports and preserves the northern basalt flow vernal pools, which are endemic to this area and endemic to California. What are these cattle doing out here, you ask? As it turns out, these cattle, which are grazing, contribute to the spreading of our luscious wildflower bloom, and they also eat invasive weeds. Please stay back at least 300 feet from the cattle for your safety. It's also a requirement of the ecological reserve. In case you haven't noticed, there is an abundance of wildflowers up here. As a matter of fact, this 3,300 acre reserve is covered with wildflowers. There are literally hundreds of wildflower plant species out here, both perennial and annual. Mostly all are in bloom. I hope you can come out here to fully enjoy the spectacle of the bloom. These rocks and basalt are covered with lichen. What is lichen, you ask? Technically, lichen is a result of a partnership between fungus and an algae. The resulting colors can be greens, blues, mustards, and reds. As you can see, it produces stunning rock formation colors. These little creeks are beautiful, and if you look closely, you may see an interesting semi-aquatic creature called a new. California newt, or orange-bellied newt, is a species of newt endemic to California. Its length can range from five to eight inches. These newts are poisonous, so please leave them alone, including your dog, which could be deadly for them if they ingested. Well, we made it to Phantom Falls, and as you can see for yourself, it is truly a beautiful place with lots of exploration and photo opportunities available. This waterfall is flowing right off a lichen covered 160 foot prehistoric basalt outcrop into the valley below simply stunning. If you look closely, you may see a beautiful rainbow in the midst of the falls. It is not known why it was named Phantom Falls. However, there are a few interesting local theories out there. Please be careful when gazing around or capitalizing on the tremendous photographic opportunities. A fall from this height would not be pleasant. Be mindful of your dogs on leashes as well. Well, that completes our hike out to Phantom Falls. And now all we have to do is hike about three miles back. We 
made it back to the trailhead and although we are exhausted, it was well worth it. I can highly recommend this amazing hike to you or at least to put it on your bucket list for sure. Thanks for watching this episode of Orville Unveiled brought to you by Orville Hospital. And remember, you can always visit OrvilleUnveiled.com for more episodes and information. I'm Shanna. And I'm Courtney. We're inviting you to stay healthy and keep moving. Because we're growing healthy together. <laughs>